other and the faculty to understand mm. to help the student mm. understand his or her strength everyone is mm. clever see this and when he says marks mm. trust me i'm also against marks mm. Mm. many gold medalists mm. when i'll share my story with you yeah like i'll say only one line my principal told me the person who has stolen your gold medal could be unemployed and you will be somewhere one day <laughs> stolen remember that word so it is not like that if you are bad in academics you mm. will not perform in life mm. Mm. being bad in academics you could today i read in the newspaper a student failed ninth standard twice is a good entrepreneur today mm. what is the most important thing in life is life with ethics life with honesty and life with prestige okay. period sir a very very a uh, kind of sir, a heavy sir. statement uh, uh, put up by madam uh, you being a person like training and placement officer doing lot many activities so ma'am is uh, again putting much stress on ethics honesty uh, when we know th- when our students come to our college uh, what kind of activities you are all doing what are your opinions about this particular questions So I'll, I'll just uh, completely agree first mm. to start with with what she said. Mm. Uh, so the research in India, parenting is a neglected science. Mm. I would say, mm. Mm. as she rightly said, mm. it is going to be the mother mm. who will groom the students uh, mm. for his child first, mm. 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 and then rest of the things will follow. Mm. Mm. The research has to go into that. What is suitable for my child hmm. what should he do so that he becomes a commercially viable hmm. product hmm. Okay. how he would uh, prosper in life that all depends on the research which goes goes on at as early as hmm. the childhood stage hmm. and which is going to be groomed hmm. by none other than the mother hmm. right coming to uh, the question hmm. as the activities hmm. which uh, which would go on uh, yeah which would go on Uh, uh i think uh, we 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 are at a stage where we are discussing the tools hmm. which would go on to build the, to bridge this gap correct as to how we would go about grooming a student yeah, yeah. <coughs> see at institutions it is it's the time when they actually get admitted to the institute hmm. it's the time when they need to be oriented hmm. about hmm. what they are going to do in their lives mm. and what are going to be the what is going to be the methodology which mm. is going to be adopted by the institute in to take them uh, to sail to make them sail through this journey Correct. the period of uh, their uh, or the duration for which they are going to be on campus maybe 4 years yeah. in engineering yeah. for 2 years huh. maybe in bba mba like that but that's the time when they are actually to be groomed yeah. they need to be told that this is what we have scheduled for you and if the students are groomed well mm. at the time of their entry to the institutes and then you customize the programs mm. identifying mm. the profiles of the students and the needs of the students mm. because it the batch which comes in to the to an institution may not be having the same caliber Correct. their requirements their grooming necessities mm, mm. would be different from the batches so it would be a very good idea for all institutes to mm. identify the need mm. identify the requirements of the students and the technical competences needed by them mm. and then developing and organizing and deciding and designing the programs which will make them actually com- uh, competent in this identified strategies mm. in technical education we call it training need analysis mm. yes the desire so of the student the training need analysis <coughs> of the students is very important and very I individualistic guess, very individualistic and it has to be tailor made it yes. cannot be one it cannot be a single policy which would go on for several years mm. yes mm. this technology is changing so fast we cannot have a program which is still which holds good for 5 years we this is the time when the situation has become very dynamic mm. and we ought to realize this 
that this uh, at the entry of the student we ought to answer this question design train uh, design a training program mm. or the specific programs mm. which will cater to this need yes so this is to me research and identification of the training needs mm. are the principal tools we are going to build on this mm. but this is the primary prioritized list according to me you might be thinking why i bring mother here uh -huh. it is scientifically documented mm. Mm. that a kid is most creative mm. Mm. till 2 years of age very correct mm. very true now yes. you decide up yes. to 2 years he is with or she is with whom yes mother the mother. creativity mm. reduces mm. to 80% mm. of till 5 years okay. it goes to 20% when the kid is 10 years mm. Mm. and after 18 years when he comes in your hand the creativity is 2% percent. so okay. that is why role of mother is very important and i am happy that he agreed to it <laughs> and uh, so role now nowadays ma'am uh, uh, the role of parents is very much high right but uh, nowadays parents are saying uh, say this is my child hmm. i am putting in your hand and uh, now is it is your responsibility, is your responsibility. correct to get him uh, placed or get him uh, in good success hmm. and maybe hmm. to send this message i mentioned about this scientific documents <laughs> so in order to uh, give a final frame of this question i would i would give you one more hint on one hand uh, person like madam she is saying that all these things like uh, sanskar i would i think sanskar is a right word to yes. use so sanskar ethics honesty is important and it is mother who can give us on one hand we have a person like her on other another hand we have our own students as baraya sir also said that parents come to us you must have seen so many parents even i have seen they come to us and they hand over the child it is your responsibility they do not know about this uh, medical documentation and scientific truth how do you tackle this situation that on one hand industry wants ethics honesty so many other things which are not available in books whether it is mba whether it is engineering whether it is whatever but it is not in the books she also rightly said that honesty is not a thing that which university or any school can teach it is it is mother you emphasize on it's, huh, it's a habit it's a habit how it do cannot you cannot be taught how do it you look at this entire scene in fact i would uh, i agree with madam uh, uh, madam sona ji uh, she rightly said uh, the ethics honesty these are the things which cannot mm. be taught mm. it is in blood mm. it is a uh, kind of uh, the sanskars mm. which we get right from our childhood mm. even before uh, mm. we born mm. uh, this is the things uh, which probably the universities has introduced the syllabus is like yeah, yeah. business ethics and corporate governance yes. professional ethics uh, and which includes your yes, yes. cpd uh. which includes the honesty yeah. ethics moral loyalty Correct. everything hmm. but again the it, there is a question mark hmm. because the students used to take the syllabus as a as a mark giving yeah. uh, books like yeah. uh, not for because the teacher teaches to teach huh. and students huh. learn to learn just for sake of just so for sake of writing yes. the examinations yes. 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 but in the real sense if you want to put these things in the students mind mm. it it is the duty and the responsibility also mm. of mm. the parents mm. who can mm. uh, teach their child mm. the virtues mm. can i can i give you uh, one more trouble to all of you by putting one more question can i this? add something please 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 Like see when you when uh, Professor Baraya. Baraya he mentioned about the uh, parents come and give their child to us that now you groom. Hmm. We are talking about ethics. Yeah. Yeah. We are talking about crony capitalism. Yes. You know yes. try yes. to connect it. Yes. Yes. We have become crony capitalism. We you we are paying you fees. We are talking about that ethics are deteriorating. it is not our responsibility running away mm. from responsibility is also unethical yeah. lying yeah. cheating is not unethical running yeah. away from so in other words when the student will see that the parents are run, it might sound bitter huh. but when the student will find that parents are running away from responsibility you cannot shy away 
from what your are the school. first teachers teaching yes yes they are the first teachers yeah. see that is what see i i am here to discuss with all these professors you yeah. know i yeah. told you about yeah, yeah. <laughs> my professional <laughs> your career. intention is altogether different i <laughs> different know very well that yes. the message has to go yeah. that we have to be responsible hmm. for environment for country for society for family for our kid so yeah. it is like the gap mm. the biggest gap is sense of responsibility mm. that should be a prerequisite yes. for everything or we can say lack of this sense yes lack of it yeah. lack of it lack of it i would like to multiply the confusion and harass all of you uh, it might sound quite bitter but uh, we have all been we have been discussing that this should be this should be my question is that what could be what could be the solution as jaitalat is a rightly touched the point that there are already subjects like ethics business ethics if it is including others but students do not take it as uh, you know ethical things which they should practically apply in their life they are taking just as a subject and they are mugging at they are putting in the examination and they are earning marks what could be the solution to this problems then when we are talking about the etiquette right? huh. so first of all faculty member should have a ticket yes yes right yes. from there they can somewhat one person they can learn if they don't have what could be yeah. the other solution what is it? so uh, there will be uh, uh, we cannot teach them a ticket huh. huh. that uh, you 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 will be uh, do something and uh, be honest huh. right uh, take a uh, 500 gram honesty from the shop <laughs> and Correct. eat it it's, and it's an uh, you will be honest can, yeah, that is not, a, uh, not possible, possible. right so uh, by uh, making uh, so so be uh, honest hmm. be honest and etiquette person hmm. that will automatically reflect to your students yes, and students will follow you yeah definitely so do you agree with this sir uh, i think it's more Id- ideal yes i i personally i am a big fan of technical competency ha huh. when i say uh, you know skills etiquettes sanskar uh, we talked about hmm. i guess uh, well i i fully agree that it has to start from the mother hmm. how she teaches hmm. what, what the values hmm. about the life hmm. but what the very important point which we are missing out hmm. today hmm. in you know bridging the gap hmm. of hmm. not being able to produce enough people hmm. who could become employable hmm. is their lack of technical skills hmm. Hmm. i firmly believe that the students i'm not talking about the 100% students who are coming out i'm talking about a very major portion of the students who are graduating hmm. are not employable hmm. Hmm. to start with there is a lacuna there are several factors contributing to it yes and we are here to discuss the points yeah. but first is acceptance and realization of this point hmm. that we are somehow not technically competent enough yeah. to compete yeah. yeah if we talk about the institutes which are considered to be premier institutes of the nation mm. the premier requirement they focus on is there is, there is a benchmark and there is a baseline mm. which is, um, is 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 a common minimum for the students who are going to graduate yes are we able to produce enough students who are going to be above that line mm. if they are above that line then the rest of the things is you know finishing kind of requirement mm. which mm. could be incorporated while this is not under emphasize em- emphasizing the need of the values built at the beginning mm. but once th- these values are built they need still to be technically competent uh, i'll connect it in my yes. answer yes. i'll yes. combine it right yes. see why are we talking about honesty ethics and all mm. i am from corporate world mm. India is very good in engineering but Indian engineers are not good at fine tuning mm. am i right mm. Sweden go right. to Sweden it, this is what is co- i have my business in 58 countries mm. so i have comments about indian engineers mm. indian doctors mm. indian managers mm. now this fine tuning mm. how will this fine tuning come in indian engineers you are there a nice faculty is there to teach them technology mm. but they have to be honest with gaining education sure 
they have to be ethical students that is why maybe today it is the first time there are people sitting and talking about this basic requirements mm, mm, mm. because these are the basics like i'm always mentioning yeah. back to basic because if the engineer is having very good laboratory very good faculty world's best institution but if he is not honest towards his education Mm. if he is not ethical towards his education not passionate mm. do you think he'll be able to take anything no. infrastructural availability is not enough. not enough this is what is my experience mm. that is why today we are sending a message to the students mm. that man you can work with limited resources mm. if you are honest with your resources mm. Mm. i'll give you one example one of my relative he came to me after engineering mm -hmm. mechanical engineering completion that didi what should i do i said whenever you go to give an interview be honest with yourself correct be honest exactly. don't boast of mm -hmm. what you don't know be correct very true i as i mentioned every slide has two sides mm -hmm. we no human being in this planet is complete we might not know something we might know something when you give an interview it doesn't mean that you should know everything mm. and he appeared for uh, for a personal interview in navy mm -hmm. and he decided that i have to take suggestion from didi that i have to be honest mm. and they kept some instruments and they interviewed and as he decided that if he doesn't know something he won't be shy he would say he doesn't know could you believe from his institution he was the only student who was selected mm. only he followed this mantra being <laughs> honest <laughs> to the intention i am talking about this because all your qualities all your expertise if you don't add this ingredient your qualities go in vain mm. we are talking about the job compatibility yeah. with mm. um corporates mm. Mm. so this is what this is an important factor for the compatibility mm. knowledge is given mm. that is given to gtu mm. but an organization is looking for this also for yes. students yes. and if the students they are conveyed this message today that this is what is the composition you should have mm. Mm. they would sustain much faster Correct. and much stronger the honesty has also i mean honesty is is a fair word i would say yes. that uh, that honesty one should have but he, the the candidate if he projects